Hello everyone, Alternating Bit here. When I was looking at the Synthesizers.com Q123 Standards module, I didn't come across many, um, well, there weren't any videos that I could find that gave you a little demonstration of how it works. I mean, obviously you can just read it and pretty much is a straightforward module, but at the same time, I like to be able to see and hear things. So I thought I'd help someone else out. Um, it's a pretty cool module. If you don't use a keyboard with your modular system and use sequencers for your melodies, this is a great tool because basically I found myself in the past making changes on an oscillator range, which is quite limited as far as how it jumps uh, the octaves. So this obviously does semitones, Pretty cool. Uh, the Quantizer 8 actually does some of that as well, but let me just give you a demonstration of what I'm talking about. The whole point is to be able to see and hear it. So right now, quick explanation of what's being patched. I have a sequencer that's running into a Quantizer bank. Quantizer bank then runs into the standards. The standards output goes into the volt per octave input on the oscillator. I'm just using a triangle wave, and here we go. Now, if I were to make a change on the oscillator's scale range here, the octave range, this is how wide of a change would be. That's really low. <laughs> but now watch this. And here's the, the full octaves up here. And then this right here, we'll switch it so it's a much higher range. Inaudible ranges there. But obviously a lot of shaping, or I should say a lot of, um, a lot of ranges and a lot of control. Now, of course, it's not very practical to have to manually stand here and do this, you know, if you're doing a performance. So, one thing I did was I malted out the same quantization output before it goes into the standards. Using a sequential switch, I would have a trigger sequencer basically toggle between these two or whatever. You know, there's obviously applications, ways you can do that. Obviously, you could have more than more one of these modules if you want, if you want to have everything automated. But at any rate, like I said, it gives you a lot of, lot of control and flexibility. Also, even if you're just looking for a certain um, node range that you want to use and just have it fixed. You know, you say you just want to have, again, not as much of a range to choose from, but here, semitones. It also has a tone generator. I don't use that, of course. I have no reason to do. That's obviously a, an important tool for people who like to tune their VCOs and stuff. But putting this output into the hard sync, check it out. Pretty cool. Just found one way of using it, but <laughs> anyway, qu just quick and dirty. This is the Q123.com module standards. If you just want to do one note.
This is Alternating Bit. Thanks for watching.